How is one of the greatest scorers in NBA history not in the Hall of Fame? Now, it's important to understand the Basketball Hall of Fame inducts coaches, players, referees, and anyone that's made a significant contribution to the game of basketball. So it's pretty shocking that a player who scored over 20,000 points and grabbed over 6,000 rebounds while shooting 47% is not in the Hall of Fame. At this point, you know who I'm talking about. And in the 80s, there wasn't many players like Tom Chambers. He was a 6 foot 10 forward who possessed the size and strength to dominate in the paint, but had the athletic ability of a shooting guard. His ability to play multiple positions and stretch the floor was way ahead of his time, basically paving the way for the modern day stretch forward. From 1981 to 1997, Chambers made four all-star teams and was an all-star MVP. He found success in both the playoffs and the regular season, as he played in 108 playoff games. That is more playoff games than over 80% of the players who are currently inducted into the Hall of Fame. For his career, Tom averaged 18 points and six rebounds, and is one of only 36 players to ever drop a 60 piece. Tom Chambers also has one of the most iconic game-winning dunks over Mark Jackson in NBA history. He was also the first free agent in league history. Just for context, before 1988, to get on an NBA team, you were either drafted or traded. Signing with an NBA team in free agency was unheard of. The glaring weakness on Tom's resume is that he never won a championship. But regardless, his exceptional career and impact on the game make him an obvious choice for the Hall of Fame. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.